you have to keep sharpening your mind you have to keep up new things are emerging you have to keep up with the trends that are emerging so that you hello my besties welcome back to my channel diary of amabel and it's your favorite girl amabel if it's your first time coming in contact with this lovely face and this lovely channel please look around the channel if you like what you see like share subscribe comment all that good stuff I will get to know ourselves later and if you're a returning subscriber you know you're the real og and the real mvp and i love you Mwah. okay my besties please pardon the noise because i'm unpacked by the road and something just popped into my mind so i decided to do a quick video okay please pardon the noise all right so besties today we have an exciting topic to discuss and it is self-development yes my besties self-development okay so if this is the type of video you'd like to watch please stick around to the end of the video so we can have a very long and fruitful conversation okay so let's get into the video okay, so if you see me looking down as always <laughs> i have a few points i've written down and i do not want to forget anything i have to tell you so i'll be looking down from time to time okay self-development is a lifelong journey that allows us to grow explore our potentials improve ourselves and be and become the best versions of ourselves so in this video we're going to be exploring ways on how to develop ourselves and how to improve ourselves and how to kickstart kick our self-development journey okay now the first thing we're going to do is to understand what self-development is okay so i'm going to read out the definition i have already i have gotten for you let me read it out self-development is the intentional process of investing in oneself to enhance skills knowledge mindset and overall well-being it encompasses personal growth self-improvement and self-awareness Any, so anything you do to improve yourself is called self-development okay so let's explore some of the ways and skills and things we can do towards self-development the first thing is self-reflection i feel like everyone should take time out to reflect on their values their goals their strengths their weaknesses their plans what they want for themselves take time out to just think on all these things okay and come up with plans on how to execute them okay when you have when you have thought about all these things you start asking yourself what makes me happy what are the things what are the aspects of my life i need to improve what are the things i need to do in my life to become better okay and we're, as we're thinking of all those things we'll be writing them down you all know that i am a strong proponent of journaling i am a strong believer in writing things down make sure you all because the bible says write down the vision make it plain so that whoever whoever reads is going to run with it i believe in writing things down no matter how little it is okay so we need after we have reflected on all our weaknesses our strengths our values our goals our plans we need to then write them down so that we can develop plans towards achieving our goals okay the second thing is to set clear goals now set clear goals now when you have determined your plans all right your values your strengths your weaknesses all the things you want for yourself set clear goals and you have written them down then set clear goals okay in every aspect of your life in your health for your finances for your spirituality for your body for your mental health this is very important and for every aspect of your life set clear goals that you want to attain and set timeline for those goals okay make sure the goals are specific measurable okay they are attainable they are relevant and time bound these are smart goals okay when you have clear goals then you ha you now have a direction and you'll be motivated to reach your goals okay the third one is continuous learning self-development depends on continuous learning continuous learning cannot be overemphasized you have to keep learning you have to keep sharpening your mind you have to keep new things are emerging you have to keep up with the trends that are emerging so that you so that you learn smarter and better ways to attain your goals okay besties so we should invest in continuous learning okay now how can we invest in continuous learning read learn new skills listen to podcasts attend workshops take online courses that are and 
take, do all these things that are related to your areas of interest, to the areas, areas where, you where, where you want to develop yourself. Okay, besties. Now, embrace a growth mindset and seek out opportunities where you can apply all these things you have learned. Okay? The first step is to practice self-care. You know I have a video on self-care. If you haven't watched that video, please check on the, in my channel. I don't know. I'm going to put a link here to on self-care. Okay? Tell me the comment section down below. If you have followed this far, tell me the comment section down below what has resonated with you so far and what steps you have taken towards um, self-development. Practice self-care. Your physical, your mental, your spiritual. Nourish your body. All right? Nourish your body and your mind. Exercise regularly. Exercise regularly. Get enough sleep. Practice mindfulness. And engage in hobbies that you enjoy. If you enjoy running, if you whatever hobby you enjoy, engage in dancing, singing, laughing, and uh, engage in hobbies that you enjoy. Remember, self care is not selfishness. Put that at the back of your mind. Self care is not selfish. It is essential for personal growth. Now, the fifth thing is to embrace challenges and failures. Growth and development often comes from embracing challenges and facing failures head on. No matter what challenge comes your way, embrace it. Even if you have failed in one area or the other, embrace it. Don't be scared to fail. There is no great person that has not failed in one thing or the other. Please embrace your failures. Face challenges head on. Don't be scared to go out of your comfort zone. Okay? A lot of us are comfortable with the known. We have fear of the unknown. We have separation anxiety. Several things. But don't be... Now remember... Success is not about avoiding failures, but it's about embracing the failures, overcoming the failures, and learning the lessons from it, and then becoming better. All right. The next one is to surround yourself with positive influences. My God, positivity is a must. You cannot be surrounded with you cannot be surrounded with negativity and expect that you're going to excel in life no you can only excel with positive mindset with a positive mindset and positive people all right negative people will always try to discourage you from your plans your goals and from those things you want to achieve but when you have positive people around you they will encourage you they will push you to be the best you can be okay now, positive influences are crucial for self-development these are some of the ways you can have positive influences build a network of good friends get mentors and role models who inspire you all right and motivate you, who inspire and motivate you engage in communities and groups that align with your goals and values remember the people you surround yourself with can either make you or mar you always have this at the back of your mind okay now the next thing is to take action self-development all these things are not for you to just learn them and to sit down on your couch sweetheart take action all right no matter how scared you are no matter what is what you're facing no matter the difficulties you may have my bestie take action don't be scared to break down your goals into attainable steps all right into attainable actionable steps break them down and then start doing them one after the other personally what i do is i write down my goals i write down the things i want to do then i write down okay i will do this i will do this i will do this as i'm doing them i'm taking them off i'm taking them off yes yeah, sometimes you will fall down you will fall you will fail you will not you may not at you may not take that action but there is always a place of coming back and there's always a place of assessing yourself and then correcting your mistake and taking that action so endeavor, endeavor to, take. to take the action no matter how small okay so if you have come today if you have followed these steps to the end of this video if you have followed me to the end of this video thank you very much for staying congratulations as you follow these steps and carry out this advice as you do these things i'm sure you're going to see changes in your life okay me i'm also using this as a as a way to speak to myself so these are these are things i'm going to actively be doing and i hope that i know that i'm going to see changes in my life and i hope to see changes in your life as well 
tell me the comment section down below which of these steps you're going to be taking and which of these things you're going to be doing okay and when you have taken those actions tell me your results come back to this video and tell me your results okay now remember to be patient to be kind to yourself you are not superhuman you're going to make mistakes but don't forget in all of this you are taking positive action okay so until i come away in the next video i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a massive thumbs up okay and leave me a comment in the comment section down below and i'll meet you there all right so until i come away in the next video please remember be good be safe take care of yourself love yourself and if no one else tells you i'm going to tell you that i love you okay yeah, i know that yeah i know that